How is the technical setup looking for this market? And I also understand you kind of brought us a little bit of a, a mini RBI of your own, my friend. Brian, we always got to bring the uh, the content and bring the RBIs to you. But, you know, from our perspective, uh, you know, 22 was certainly a rough year. I mean, it was the seventh worst uh, downturn for the S&P 500. We had all the popular averages uh, in the red in uh, 2022. And uh, at this point in time, I think investors need to sort of keep in mind that it's always five o'clock somewhere, meaning that there's always something to do. I know Kramer's talked about there's always a bull market somewhere. 100% agree with that. And when we're looking at the technicals, you can see in the marketplace that industrials, energy, financials are putting up some of the best relative strength, Brian. And in fact, I've got many of those sectors putting up 26-week relative strength new highs at this point in time. And again, there's always something to do. And those are some of, uh, some of the best and strongest areas of the market right now. Yeah, it's, it's pretty cool stuff, and we've gotten off to a good start to the year. I know really nothing changes but the calendar, although I did say yesterday we had a lot of tax loss selling probably at the end of the year, so maybe the calendar in some cases actually did matter. And you are optimistic on the year, Craig, right? Your price target is, what, 4265 some somewhere around there? 4625 Brian, is, is where we're at. So we've oh, seen about I flipped it. Yeah, we're looking for about 18% upside from here. Um, and we think some of the catalysts from here is we're watching on the macro side of things. Right now, we've had a uh, downturn in terms of the dollar. We've had a downturn in terms of rates at this point in time. And both of those have been catalysts for the uh, equity markets over the last uh, several months in here. And from our perspective, until those trends change, or they reverse higher, I think you're going to continue to see the equity markets work. And Brian, the key technical level that everybody's going to be watching, and it's really going to be tested tomorrow when the CPI number comes out, is going to be that downtrend resistance line off of the January highs last year at around 4,000. You also have the 200-day moving average coming into play in that level. And I think a yeah. break above that level is going to uh, set us up for what we've been talking about, which is a hop, a drop, and a pop for 2023. I still think we're in the hop at this point in time. Well, that CPI report tomorrow, as we, as we say in the business here, is a, quote, big deal. If it comes in hot or it comes in really soft, what are your expectations for either? Well, I think if we're going to come in and it's too hot, I think you're going to look at it technically and say, well, we got rejected again at the downtrend resistance line. And you're probably setting yourself up for the drop phase that we would, we've been discussing, which could take the market down over a matter of uh, months, probably to retest the 3,600-ish level. But if this number comes in uh, less than expected and we do see the market move higher and you start to reverse the downtrend off of, again, the January 2022 highs, I think that's going to bring a lot of people off the sidelines. And, Brian, there is $4.3 trillion of cash sitting on the sidelines at this point in time. And uh, anybody that's wanted to sell wow. this market has already done that. $4.3 trillion in cash. I might have to put that in an RBI. Very quickly, Craig, can you leave us with an idea? I want to make the new year sort of all about opportunity, somewhere to invest right now. A couple of places to invest right now. In the energy sector, where we're showing good relative strength, take a look at Schlumberger. It's got a very nice long-term downtrend huh. reverse. I'd also point out Boeing. Again, a stock that's been out of favor for a while, but reversing a longer-term downtrend. And then, Brian, a couple areas to specifically avoid. I think 2023 is going to be a year where we're going to be talking about this market X, the technology sector. And I look at stocks like Trade Desk and Alphabet as two names that are still in defined downtrends. And we're probably going to continue to lose uh, market cap from here. And then, Brian, lastly, from a bigger picture perspective, I think you got to keep taking a look at the Dow this year in 2023, because from our mini RBI perspective, when we do see the Dow yep. outperform. All other indices, the S&P, the Russell, the NASDAQ, the, the uh, six-month forward returns are quite amazing, close to 12%, and you're higher 88% of the time. And again, it's only happened nine times uh, since the 1970s, Brian.